They're not artists because nobody can play the guitar. Watching accelerated TV, all right? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I'm Arno Robertini. Here to talk about my killer analog mixtape. DBX Livewire. Probably uh, Freud could have a, a good answer about this kind of repetition and sexuality. That's probably something like that. You know, you can see it in the club. But that obviously that uh, everybody is in the dark and listen to boom, boom, boom. Like in the, in the belly of the mother, there is something close. This track, I think there is like just a sequential drum tracks and uh, since probably a Sage 101 or something like that, this track is fucking killer. Needs a Rev, Captivate. For me, Needs a Rev is a key band, you know, in electronic music. It's the, the funkiest EBM band. It's always like really, really minimal, and you have the um, uh, Douglas McCarthy and just singing on it. That's amazing. For me, it's like a, McCarthy is a mix of between James Hetfield and James Brown when you listen to, <laughs> because he have this gimmick sense, you know, and really groovy, uh, and uh, and, and he want to sing like a, a, um, a heavy singer always perfect and funky and and dark underground resistance jupiter jazz i think it's the top analog track but it's not they are not all analog like this one but i think the baseline is dx 100 so it's not analog for me it's one of the perfect tracks i like the harmony you know the way that the bass line move through the chords if you remember the first wave of uh, a rave movement you have like awful bands like k class or i can't remember and people and all this kind of stuff like making like really commercial after you have the, the, the more uh, serious wave like underground resistance and all the, the proper warehouse techno armando 151 armando 151 I think he, he was like 18 when he done this track, so it's good lesson for the young. Just using a TR-77 from Roland and a 303 in sync. It was just pure genius, you know, just using a 707. It was, in, it was really the beginning of Acid House and it was a perfect track. LFO, LFO. For me, it's one of key band uh, in electronic music. The, the track starts with a digital synth, I think it's a GD800. It was the last really good synth from Roland. What, what can we say about this track? It's just classical track from, from amazing label, Swarp. Mark Bell is, is really a genius. It, I think he's a little bit crazy, but he's a genius. I like this kind of character. Depeche Mode, Beyond the Wheel, Chef Patibon remix. If you just keep one dance track and one version, 112 inches, for me is this one. It's really groovy and really melancholic and it's a perfect song, you know, it's probably uh, one of the best songs of the 80s, maybe uh, uh, for me the, the rock and roll history. You look different every time. Robert Wyatt, Sea Song. That's a classical song, you know. Uh, nothing to say around that. I'm not a big fan of Soft Machine, his first band, but there is like something magic, you know, around the way he play the keyboard, the scene, 
not really well tuned and uh, and uh, this song has got something really really special. So it's Tons on Tales, it's a side project of the, the first side project of Daniel Ash, the guitar player of uh, Bauhaus. It's like a mix between a uh, cold wave and, and uh, new wave and uh, uh, British uh, psychedelic music, like Pink Floyd influence, like you can listen to this track, there is a mix with the, the reggae part to, uh, from Bauhaus, this kind of vocals, uh, really uh, 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 early Pink Floyd sound. And the song is, 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 uh, is amazing, so it's one of my electronic favorite tracks. The 70 billion people of Earth, where are they hiding? So it's Cabaret Voltaire, the, the Sheffield uh, uh, king of electronic music, really industrial music, but in the industrial uh, in a good way, not the girls wearing vinyl and stuff. They make dance track and make really uh, atmospheric tracks. And this one is in the middle of, of the, the, the two. Probably SH1 uh, or uh, an old Roland SH something like that. It's quite punk funk style. Carl Craig, Mind of a Machine. So it's the first track of the first Carl Craig album. It's a track influenced by uh, Giorgio Moroder. I don't put uh, in Giorgio Moroder. I'm not so fun, it's a bit too cheesy. Uh, Italo disco for me, like the, there is, I don't like the Italo part of the Italo disco. So with Carl Craig, there is no Italo part in his Italo disco, so it's good techno track. A lot of guys from Detroit uh, have a good part and now they are not so good and him is always uh, on the top. Then one day I go to a record shop. It's, uh, it was called Danceteria in Paris and after the, the guys made Rough Trade and I work at Rough, Rough Trade Paris. And uh, when I get in, in this shop, one day I listen to LFO from LFO and the Peel Session from Napalm Death. And this day my life changed. I was really impressed by the fact that the guys, uh, it's the first time in rock and roll that band make interesting music and go to the terrorism in the same times. Yeah, but, but FX Twin is crazy, everybody know that. Underground Resistance, Jupiter Jazz. Hey, t'as écouté le dernier Underground Resistance Jupiter Jazz, il est vraiment bien.